Uh, Rick Astley is going to be there on the night. He's here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming in so early. Yeah, it's my absolute pleasure to be honest. I'm one cappuccino down already, so I'm all good. To be what, are you saying you want another? Uh, I might do in a we minute. We can you know, sort go, go that. 15 minutes and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not a problem. So we're very excited that you're going to be on the line. Because, of course, we did this for the first time last year and we weren't sure how it was going to go, but we sure. sold out. Yeah. And it was an amazing night. Anyone that's listening now that was there yep. will, I'm sure, agree. It was a lot of fun. Jules was there. She enjoyed it. Uh, didn't you, Jules? It was fantastic, yeah. So, um, <laughs> we're, we're so pleased that you'll be coming Yeah, no, I'm excited. And I think London Palladium as well. I've been there recently, actually, and I think it's... It's a great choice because it's a really great venue. It's smack in the centre of London and it's kind of, it's got, it's, again, it's got all that history, hasn't it? You know what I mean? Everyone's played at the London Palladium or everyone, it was everyone's played. Sunday there, night, you know yeah. I mean? Yeah, so mm. great, yeah, cool. Um, and it's the afternoon, which I think is great because, mm. you know, if you've got to get back because you've got work yeah. the next day, you can get yeah. yourself on the tube and get yourself Absolutely. home pretty quickly. Uh, we've got more acts to announce as well over the next few weeks, but get your tickets this Friday from nine o'clock. Are you a big fan of Christmas? I am, yeah. We, um, My wife is Danish and we, we, we alternate. Sometimes we go there for Christmas and it is really cosy there. Um, and I think we've brought some of the traditions of Denmark here as well. We kind of... We, we do well for instance they celebrate on the uh, the night before uh, Christmas Eve a lot of countries that's do when that, they have they? Their, yeah. their you know their dinner and their yeah. what's it so we get two Christmases basically we do we've been doing two for about 30 years now so <laughs> and we have a 24 year old daughter and she actually lives in Copenhagen so it's kind of nice to mix and match for her as well because she gets to come home at Christmas sometimes and you know so yeah it's good it's haven't cool. the Danish got a really good word for it? yes hooglit is hooglit what's that mean yeah or hoogly <laughs> um, it's cosy, that's what it means. And it's it's like, I mean, we've obviously, we've started, candles are a fairly normal thing in this country now. But I mean, if you're going back 25 years, you didn't always go to people's houses and they'd immediately light candles and all mm. this stuff. They've always done that in Denmark. It's all, it's all about the hoogly, it's all about the cosy. The log fires, yeah, the hot exactly, chocolates, yeah. with yeah, a bit absolutely. of rum in them. And also I think as well, I mean, um, you know, they've got a much better chance of getting snow at Christmas and that kind of... Let's be honest, we'd all like snow on Christmas yeah, Day, wouldn't we? we? Would. It kind of, you know, makes the difference. I think. Unless you're a bookie, you'd hate yeah. snow on Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah. Right, exactly. we're going to play uh, Keep Singing. I don't know if you're going to do this on the night. You've got plenty of time to think about what yeah, you're going to sing. Exactly. We'd, like a, we'd like a Christmas song. If yeah, absolutely. No, well, to be honest, I've sung Christmas songs before and I really, really like it. I think it's a fun thing to do and, uh, and there's some classics out there, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we'll have to get our heads together and have a, have a good think about it.